Hi, everybody. This is Mark and Marks Mandalas, and I would like to welcome you to episode 13 in the Win Marks Mandalas series. As you can see, we're starting off with Dottie paying me a visit before I even get started painting. And the paint that I'm going to use in the first layer, some of the dots on here are going to have three layers. And I am doing an experiment to demonstrate the importance of using white paint when you're using glow-in-the-dark paint. So I'd like you to watch this video all the way through because at the very end of the video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate just how important it is to use white paint with glow-in-the-dark. And you will also notice, if you continue watching this video, another hummingbird comes to visit. Um, something else I also noticed as I was editing this, that there is uh, a shot with two hummingbirds in frame at the same time. And I didn't realize there was a second hummingbird behind me um, in one of the shots. So hopefully you can spot that as you watch this video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and step back out of the way and let you enjoy this relaxation tutorial, but please stay to the end to see the demonstration. Oh, well actually, I guess I've been talking so much here that we're already to our new friend. And this is a male hummingbird. You can tell because of the color on its head. Um, I wish I had a little more light on it to where you could see just how purple his head is. Uh, it's beautiful. So I hope that he continues to visit. I had another hummingbird visit me uh, just yesterday when I was not painting and she was very vocal and came up very close to me so that was exciting. Hopefully she'll be visiting me while I'm painting as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit back and relax. Well, you know what, I, I'm gonna go ahead and stop myself again because I want you to know that this paint that I'm applying right now is actually a clear medium. It looks white right now but it's going to dry clear and this is a similar um, approach to the, uh, the coaster that I painted as far as when you want to have dots where you can't really see them. I'm gonna be um, doing an experiment, a comparison experiment on this mandala. And so I need to have a reference point for half of the pattern. And you'll see how that, how that reveals itself as I, as I go through this tutorial. Um, so anyway, now I think I'm going to finally go ahead and step back so you can listen to the music, relax, enjoy uh, this mandala that I paint for you, and I hope you enjoy Dottie coming to pay me lots of visits as well.
Okay, now that this piece is done and it's all dry, I want to show you the difference between when you put white paint on the glow in the dark versus when you don't. And um, this is just in daylight, I think, that you can, or natural light, that you can see that there's a, quite a difference in how, how well you can see it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let me do a cover this up with paper so you can see. Kind of there it is. It's, it's a lot brighter just in regular lighting compared to without white paint underneath the glow-in-the-dark paint. Let me go ahead and turn the light off here. I've already uh, put a black light on this for a little while, so um, it should be pretty well charged. And I'm gonna let you see the difference between white dots under the glow-in-the-dark paint and no white dots under the glow-in-the-dark paint. And you can see my finger. This is the white dot under the paint. This is nothing. There's a clear medium underneath there, which is essentially nothing under that paint. Okay, I had to put my phone on airplane mode because I kept getting texts and phone calls. And I'm trying to show you as far as uh, see how long the glow lasts on the paint with the white underdot versus the paint, the glow in the dark paint with no underdot on there. Um, I'm going to let this roll for a few minutes and we'll see what the difference is. So I'll be right back. Okay, it's been three minutes and I think that you can you can tell that the glow-in-the-dark dots with white underneath them are glowing much brighter than the dots without white underneath them. Uh, I hope this stresses the importance of putting white dots underneath um, your glow-in-the-dark paint to get more bang for your buck out of it and uh, really help see the effect. And the same applies for UV paint. I'm going to be showing that on a future tutorial as well. I hope you have enjoyed the relaxation tutorial portion of this. I hope that this demonstration shows you how much better glow in the dark and for that matter uh, black light or UV paint will work with a white underdot. I think that's all for now. Until my next video, this is Mark from Marks Mandalas. Until next time, rock on.